What's going on, everybody? I'm back with another video for my Omi homies. Now, it's been a crazy week in the stock market. It's been a crazy week in the crypto market, but the VV secondary market remains strong. Now, there was a bit of a pullback over the last few days, a nice little correction, which was necessary after a couple of weeks of prices pumping in the secondary market. Now, even though prices have cooled off a bit, Many of our favorite NFTs are out of reach for the majority of the people, especially the tens of thousands of new people getting into Vivi on a daily basis. So in this video, I'm going to talk about some deep cuts. I'm going to talk about some hidden gems. I'm going to go through my top 20 Vivi NFTs under $500. All right, so before I begin, I just want to say thank you to everyone who subscribes to the channel. We just passed 2,000 subscribers. I appreciate all the support. If you like this sort of content, make sure you hit the like button. It helps get this video out to more people and consider subscribing if you're not already subscribed. All right, so now let's get into it. My top 20 VV NFTs under $500. First, let's talk about the criteria. I'm only talking about the branded NFTs, the licensed NFTs, not the comics and not the artist pieces. That's because I don't know enough about the comics and because there are too many variables involved with the artist. Also understand that this is a subjective list. You're not going to find things like unicornos in this list or Kripkins or even Powerpuff Girls because I don't like unicornos, Kripkins, and Powerpuff Girls. All right, so here is my list of my top 20 VV NFTs under $500. We're kicking off number 20 with Star Trek and the USS Enterprise. This is a first appearance. It's an uncommon. At the time of this recording, it has a floor price of $260. Now, it's possible that once the VV-verse takes shape, these vehicles will have some added utility, which will bring added value. So if you're a Star Trek fan... This is a first appearance that you might want to own. Coming in at number 19, we got Captain America, one of the world's most famous superheroes. Now, this is not a first appearance, but it is the first time he appears in his true form as his first appearance is as a Marvel Mighty. Now, these are beautiful pieces. You've got the rare sitting at a floor price of $315. The common is currently at $215 at the time of this recording. And the uncommon is under $200. Next up at number 18, I've got Batgirl. This is a first appearance from season two. You can't go wrong with a superhero first appearance. Coming in at number 17, we got another first appearance. Ultimate Animated Groot, which is rare and has less than 10,000 editions. This has a great animation. It's also the very first Guardian of the Galaxy. And you can still get the common Groot for around the drop price. Now, a lot of people don't like the fact that this is Christmas themed, but it is the first appearance of a character and also first Guardian of the Galaxy. Next up at number 16, we've got Zombie Captain America number one. I actually like the other Captain America better, but this is a first appearance and it's less than $100. Coming in at number 15, we've got... Voltron, I particularly like the rare called Atlas Ready. This one is under $200 at the time of this recording. I, I grew up in the 80s, so I love Voltron. It's also first appearance from DreamWorks. Next up at number 14, we've got Slimer. This one I think is slept on from the classic film Ghostbusters, which they continue to make sequels of. This is a season one common that at the time of this recording is just over $200. And it's also a first appearance. Next up at number 13, I've got Darwin Cook Batman. This is not FA, but it is a season one Batman, which I think will do well over time. There's also the Gary Frank Batman, also season one. Both of these under $500. Next up at number 12, I've got Alligator Loki Ultra Rare, which is animated. It is first appearance, and it's just over $300 at the time of this recording. You can also get the common for a decent price. Coming in at number 11, I've got Coca-Cola Snow Globe. I like the common with the polar bear because I think that's the most 
iconic representation of this piece. Coke is a major brand, and as Hello K has pointed out, we've got the 100-year anniversary of Coca-Cola coming up next year. Now getting into the top 10, I've got Catwoman. I think she's slept on. She is a major villain in the Batman universe. This is her first appearance, which you can still pick up for less than $400 at the time of this recording. Next up is another first appearance from Batman. This one is Robin from the Batman Black and White Season 2, currently sitting at less than $300. Coming in at number 8, I've got the Adventure Time characters. What I like about these is that they are Season 1. They're also early Season 1. The drop date was October 20th, 2020. Jake the Dog is around $200, has 5,500 editions. Finn is less than $200 with 7,500 editions. And the Ice King is less than $300 with about 3,200 editions. I think that as time goes on, that season one designation will get more and more significant. And those that dropped in 2020 may also have added value. Next up at number seven is Dick Sprang Batman. I really like the animation on this one. This is another season one Batman, but this one is especially notable because it dropped in 2020. And it is under $400 at the time of this recording. Next up at number six, I've got Storm. This is the first appearance of a major member of the X-Men. I believe that Marvel has big plans for Storm coming up in the next set of movies. You can still pick up the common for under $100. Kicking off the top five, I've got the DeLorean from Back to the Future. This is one of the most famous vehicles in movie history. It is a season one first appearance. Now there are 50,000 editions of the common, so there are quite a lot of them. They're just over $100 at the time of this recording. The Rare has 25,000 editions. It is just under $200. And these should have extra utility in the VV-verse as you should be able to drive them around. Coming in at number four, I've got Zombie Hunter Spider-Man. Spider-Man is arguably the most famous superhero in the world. And this is the first appearance of a variation of Spider-Man. It's a common and there are about 18,000 editions. And this can be picked up for about $300. Coming in at number three, we've got first appearance, Captain America, Steve Rogers, which a lot of people hate on because it is in the form of a Marvel Mighty. But it's still the first appearance of one of the top five superheroes in the world now there's a lot of speculation that there might be some sort of gamification with the marvel mighties in the vv verse but that's yet to be determined even if there's not gamification this is still the first appearance of captain america and it can be bought for around 200 dollars. coming in at number two is the first appearance of a batman variation called batman who laughs now this is a slept on version of batman but it's very cool looking. It is a first appearance and the price has dropped to around $400 at the time of this recording. Coming in at number one is the first appearance of one of my favorite Marvel superheroes, Deadpool. Deadpool is hugely successful. He has a cult following. His movies do really well. I think the common is the best looking pose of all the Deadpools. The price just dropped to under $200. And the Rare, which has just 8,000 editions, is sitting at just around $200. So there you have it. Those are some deep cuts. Those are 20 VV NFTs that can still be purchased for under $500. There's still lots of value out there. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. What did I leave out? What would you rank as number one? As always, don't forget to like and subscribe on your way out. I hope you all enjoy your weekend. Stay happy, stay healthy, and stay safe. I will see you in the next video.